Hi, and welcome back. In this quick start lesson, you'll learn how to add basic scrolling to your prototypes. Scrolling helps you condense information as well as enhance navigation. All this is possible by using Protopie's container feature. In this demo, we'll recreate the infinite scrolling effect similar to Instagram. We have a stories section with a horizontal scrolling view, a home screen where we navigate posts using vertical scrolling, and a logo on the top left when tapped, auto scrolls back to the top. Ready? Let's scroll. Open the Pi in Studio. To set up scrolling in Protopie, all you need is a container. From the toolbar, click Container, then select Scroll Container. We'll start with the vertical scrolling. Drag and draw a rectangle over the Stories and Posts sections. You see, a scroll container defines the area of scrollable content. In this case, we'll cover only the space between the header and the bottom tab bar since we don't want those two moving. Let's rename this container Vertical Scroll View. Go to the Layer panel and find the layer group Avatars and Posts 1 to 4. Try dragging them inside the container we just created. Now this is where the magic happens. Drag the Vertical Scroll View container to the bottom of the layer list next. Again, this is to make sure Status Bar, Header, and the Tab Bar layers aren't affected by the scrolling. Let's preview this. Voila! In just a few clicks, you've made a scrolling view of the home screen. Now, let's move on to horizontal scrolling of the avatars, just like Instagram Stories. Go back to the Layer panel. Find a container called Avatars. This houses the objects in our Stories section. Quick pro tip! Did you know that you can quickly convert a normal container into a scroll container in Protopie? With the Avatars container selected, Go to the Property panel on the right-hand side and check the Scroll and Paging options. Here, you can switch the option from None to Scroll. You'll see a couple more customizable options for the behavior of your container. Choose Horizontal. Below this, you'll see another option called Overscroll. What this does is let the user move past the edge of the scroll view and back again, creating a bounce effect on fixed elements on the screen. Let's go back to our avatars. Do you notice the margin missing on the right side of the screen? Another pro tip, remember, scrolling stops after the last object in the container. Let's add some breathing space by adding an invisible object at the end. Simply draw a rectangle. Rename this Margin. Set the width you like, then drag it all the way into the avatar's container. Now look closely where you should place it. In this case, right next to the last avatar. We don't need this visible, so set its opacity to zero. Let's preview. For the final touch, we want the scroll view to automatically go back to the top when the app logo is tapped. One last pro tip, hold Command on your keyboard while clicking the object you want to specifically select inside the container. To create the auto-scroll interaction, add a tap trigger to the logo. Then, a scroll response set to the vertical scroll view container. Look closely right below. Choose Scroll 2 and set it to 0. The scroll value tells Protopie where it needs to go. In this case, back to the very top of our container. And we're done! Scrolling! Easy as pie! See you in the next one!